He is the youngest graduate in her high school's history. And now she's off to one of the best engineering schools in the country. News Channel 15's Chris Hopper sat down with Elena McNamara to learn about her incredible journey. Heather, last week Elena graduated from Belmont High School in Decatur at the age of 15. But this Northeast Indiana genius isn't finished just yet. She's headed to Rose Holman to pursue a degree in biomedical engineering. This is a story you'll only see on News Channel 15. She looks and sounds like every other high school age kid. I was really bored in school. Like most kids though, her boredom didn't come from the topic of the material, but rather the difficulty of it. I read a lot, like the whole time. Like they would be sitting there and she would be teaching us division. I learned division like two years before that. Most people would call Elena McNamara a genius. She's basically been reading since she was about two. She had a poem published in third grade. She skipped fifth, eighth, and eleventh grades, and she graduated from high school at age 15. Basically just took a bunch of AP classes, hung out with my friends, went to prom. It's exciting. Shannon McNamara had a few concerns about her daughter skipping grades, but Elena was just too far ahead of the younger kids. They didn't understand her, didn't know, couldn't understand why she was getting all the good grades and why she didn't have to do her homework and... You know, why was she so smart? <laughs> Next month, Elena is moving to Terre Haute to pursue a medical degree at Rose Holman. I've always wanted to help people, and the medical field seemed like a way I could best use my talents because I'm good at science and math and everything. Her mother has no doubt that's exactly what she'll do someday. I expect she will do whatever she puts her mind to. She's always done it her way. She's always done everything she said she's going to do. After Rose Holman, Elena wants to go to medical school, probably Johns Hopkins. She wants to be a heart and lung surgeon. But before she gets too far ahead, she has to get her driver's license this summer. She's taking driver's education. First things first. That's right. She's impressive, though. Yes. Thanks, Chris.